50 times, must, must, and that's only on TV. So we meet each other up in the pro tours, European tours, and uh, no one sees that, of course, but maybe we played each other 70, 80 times already since, since I joined the PDC, yeah. Have you both changed over the years? Do you think you've changed? Um, yeah, yeah. Older, not me. Older, yeah. <laughs> Vision is, is, is worse, worse than, than, than I came. Yeah, it's about what Phil said. You get, you're getting older, and it, it's harder to get uh, to, to stay on, on, on top. You see, there are a lot of players around who, who, who do the same as, as you do, you know. And uh, it's hard to, to, to fight, fight against them, you know. The, the new generation, like the, the Michael Van Gerwens, you know, uh, under them is, is guys like uh, like Michael Smith uh, and and. A lot of players from Holland coming over now. We need to van der Poss. Yeah, so so talented, you know. So it's it's hard against everyone now. For the darting public, the fans, the spectators at home watching on telly, every time they see in the draw Taylor van Barneveld, it means something. It's a special it match. Does it? Figures are going to go up. Well, absolutely. <laughs> you're, you're, but you're still box office a pair of you. Does it still feel a bit special to you? Always a playing rate. Yeah, of course he does. Yeah, I enjoy playing him. You know, and he, and you never know which barn is going to turn up. Now you, you can turn up and do an 118 average and get beat. It's it's weird, you know. It's 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 it miss with pair of us really, you know. Again, he's right. Raymond's right. What he's saying, you know. It's it's harder as you gain older, but it's still enjoyable. We still enjoy it, and we'll still be you know battling away. And it's great to watch. Good luck to both of you. Thank you. Cheers. Goodness, it's like watching Moses parting the Red Sea, watching Phil Taylor make his way onto this stage. What can you say about these two? It's all been said before. Good luck, Stuart Pike and Rod Harrington. Yes, thanks, Ned. One of the greatest rivalries in the history of darts is renewed here on the stage in Yokohama. Quarterfinals of the Japan Darts Masters. And here he is, been there, done it, won it. Over the last three decades, Philip Taylor totally dominating the world of darts. Yeah, he made an interesting point in the interview with Ned earlier. Just don't know which Raymond van Barneveld is going to turn up. Barney's recent record has been pretty good. He's won his last two matches against Taylor, both in the Premier League. Of course, we remember Phil Taylor averaging 115 in the Premier League just a couple of months ago against Barneveld and losing. But Barney, in his first round match against Katsuya Aiva, just squeezing through 6 4 with an 82 average. Thankful of a 1 4 6 finish to win that tenth and decisive leg. Phil Taylor beating Masuda Chino 6 2 with a 98 glass. average on. in round one here in Yokohama. So here we go, the 70th competitive match played between Philip Taylor and Raymond Van Barneveld. Well, you said Barney didn't know what one of him was going to turn up. I assure you the good one's got to turn up tonight because the form of Phil Taylor's been pretty good. But 80, 80's a bit like seven. Barney. You know, it's so frustration, uh, frustrating to watch them play poorly, isn't it? When you know what talent they've got. You're thinking, you know, what is going on? 100. But we know if Barney gets on a bit of a run... He can do some damage. But however, if he starts to miss a few doubles 41. and doesn't score, then he gets a bit down, starts shaking his head. And Phil Taylor is seasoned enough as a professional to know when to really kick in the sucker punches. Yeah, we were just wondering if... 137. We're going to see a new name on a World Series trophy. Seven events going back to when this terrific idea was first born in... 2013 in Dubai and four of them won by Michael Van Gerwen, three of them won by Philip Taylor. Of course, Van Gerwen beat Taylor in the final of our first event of 2015. Cracker it was in Dubai a month or so ago. Taylor dominating the opening leg. Barney just cannot get going. Can't find a big treble. He's had a one 16. score of 100, but little else. Well, he's going to get six starts from here. Oh, that's uh, way off. Now oh, that's left it double 74. 16, so he set it up absolutely perfectly. And Barney, as you said, a long way off. And 
There is not too many legs, Stu, what you're going to win with above 32. the 18 dart mark in any of these matches this evening. That should be, should be the perfect guy. Had to be, didn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. I thought Taylor was going to be the best. That was the place players. to do it. Takes the opening leg, and Barney better get going, and quickly. Come up by a treble, a big treble. 60. Again, just 60, a bewildered look on the Barnevel face. Now, I mentioned 70 games now between Barnevel and Taylor over the years. Of course, none better than that 2007 World Championship final at the Circus Tavern. will forever be known as the greatest game when Barnevel came back to beat Taylor in a one-leg sudden death shootout in that 13th set. 100. The way we go for the bullseye now, the players, was changed because of that sudden death shootout when Phil Taylor put the dart in the 25 and Barnevelt asked to leave it. And he bounced what? his dart off of Phil and straight in the bullseye. Yep. Now, when you go for bullseye, it doesn't matter where that dart goes in the board, it's retrieved to let your opponent have a clean board. 44. Yeah, but another uh, Barnevel incident has also resulted in change. You remember when three years ago he won the Grand Slam of darts? Just pause a little as Taylor looks at a 180. 140. Of the Grand Slam has always been an invitational tournament. It's not ranked, uh, but Barnevel uh, was so disappointed after that the Grand Slam win. But he forced a change in the rules, didn't he? And from this year, the Grand Slam of Darts will count towards the world rankings as Taylor looks at the ball for a 1, 2, 3. 77. Ready to record 157. Well, you feel that Barney's got to take this out, and that is not going to happen. So at the moment, a very mediocre. Record 46. Barney and making it very easy for this man, Phil Taylor, to steal a nice little lead. If he happens to miss this, which he has done, 38. and Barney takes Maybe this out, it'll be 66. this would be a Christmas present, come a bit early for the big Dutchman. Now, now this is, oh, now double eight. He, he was going for the 20 to leave double 18. 58, Philly Rupert eight. eight. That should be a good guide for him. Oh, it just flicked the flight, double two. Oh. Oh. Taylor has missed five really darts. What a let off. Five missed darts from Taylor. What a chance for Bart. This is a real steal. A real steal for the Dutchman. Well, four. Four. Who well, wants to win this leg? Yes, I said that you don't win too many legs over 18 darts. Well, over 18 darts have been thrown by both players. Oh, oh. And that dart looks a little bit like that's hit most of that double yeah, one up. He he found the, finally Who's found there? the double one. Third uh, third I think the face of Raymond van Barnevelt says it all. Well, frustrated, Barney. Yeah. Phil Taylor, 2 0 up. Courtesy of a 21 darter. Don't say that very often. One hundred and twenty two. Yeah, head to head between the two. Fifty one wins for Taylor out of sixty nine matches. I mean totally dominant. But Barney has won some big ones along the way in the Premier League, of course the world title, the UK Open. And he went on to win that. Yeah. Significant yeah. one eighty. And you can see that that Raymond van Barneveld just can't get anything going whatsoever and... 59. Well, Barney's every dart now, it's the shake of the head, yeah, losing confidence. I mean, we're only in the third leg. And all of a sudden, it looks in his face as if he's accepted defeat, 60. doesn't it? I mean, I, I don't understand it. You know, you've got to get the motor running. You've got to start finding the treble. It'll come. 55. The heat won't fill the report. Van Barneveld. 
of his. But every major stage, it, it's it's a hundred degrees. Yeah. I think it affects Barnaval more than most now because of his problems with diabetes. But we've Let's got be problems honest. here with Taylor looking to make it 3-0. Let's be honest, dude. There's an awful lot of people all over the world that have got diabetes. That, you know, you just have to get over it and get on with it. Yes, I'm afraid you've got to. There's no sympathy in this game, I'm afraid. Game shot on the third line. Who's Tons of sympathy for Phil Taylor. 3-0 leads in a race 2-8. 100. The Barley's average of 71. I'm afraid. 100. Yes, I'm afraid you won't see that too often from the big Dutchman. Well, Taylor's his only look, 85, 86. Well, well, he has missed a lot of darts at doubles, Taylor, but... Well, if you'd have said that Phil Taylor's only on 85 average, who's 3-0 up, you'd say Barney. Yeah. However, Barney now has dipped under the 70 average. 99. That's better for Barney. Yeah, much better. Just needs something to get it going. Is that the spark? Which lights that Tuxton flame? We shall see. First 180 for the Dutchman. 100. So Taylor, only with a ton. Barney with six darts here to get his first leg on the board. But that, that second leg where Taylor gifted Van Barnevel so many chances. 93. May well come back to bite him. Well, Barney should get at least one dart at double top. Phil Taylor will put some pressure on because that's a perfect dart. Goes for one the bullseye. Well, there is pressure on. Well, Barney would love to see this go in the treble 20. Oh, and he slid it into the five. Oh, and well, that's just about what happens. That I'm afraid. Subs it, yeah, subs it up, 64. went for the 20, hit the five, went for the 25, hit the ball, made a mess of it. Is he going to be punished? By Taylor on double six. That hurts. Who's there? Pain and punishment in Yokohama. Not a flicker of emotion from Taylor. He leads 4 0. Well, there's nothing in the barn of that game at the moment that suggests that he's going to get anything out of this game. He's got to dig deep. He's been around long enough. And he's been in this position on a good few occasions, so... That isn't new to him, Stu. He's just got a grit and determination. He won't want to be embarrassed, will he? He won't want to be humiliated here by Taylor. One and fourteen. Ninety-six. Not enough, Raymond. If you are just joining us, Michael 57. Van Gerwen will play Peter Wright in the first semi-final. The winner of this, and it very much looks like it's going to be Taylor, will take on Gary Anderson or James Way in the second semi-final here of the... Japan Darts Masters in Yokohama. Eighty-four. Well, we're in the fifth leg, and Barney's only hit one one forty. <laughs> There's the second, but it may be too late. We see Peter Wright take this out twice in his defeat of Adrian Lewis. Oh, it's missed a big number, and that's very unusual. You don't see that very often. He was looking for 11 or treble 11. 89. Hit the 14. Really require 130. Well, I would suggest it's now or never for Barney. Yeah. Yeah. Double five. Yeah. 
Failure require 32. Not close enough. Taylor here. It's Cruiser. He leads Van Barneveld 5 0 here in Yokohama. Yeah, Stephen, when Barney gets a dart and the double, it is literally one dart. And now Taylor 5 0 up. You don't see him let leads like this go very often. And no. Barney, I mean, on 79 average now, and, and Phil's only on just under 90. And to be quite honest, with Phil Taylor only on 90 average, that's when you've got to beat him. 95. So neither player went anywhere near their best. However, we did see Michael Van Gerwen play at his best. And Peter Wright, they're through to the semi-finals of the Giant 100. Japan Masters. Certainly... We're in for plenty of superb darts for the rest of the night. 58. Well, it's, it's a nightmare night for Raymond Van Barneveld. That is the simple truth. <laughs> 125. Yeah, but as you suggest, a, an average of 90 for Philip Taylor, and he's winning 5-0. 98. Can Van Barneveld avoid a whitewash? Well, there's too many legs there that Taylor's won with under 100 averages. 59. And, um, you know, he's making it so easy for Phil Taylor to win this. But Taylor uh, on a bogey. 140. So surely this will be Van Barneveld's moment. Well, we, we do see Phil do that now and now and again, leave the bogeys. And this dart would have been a double if he hadn't Ready done. So now, 52. Barney, is it 20 for 16? Can he finally put a leg on the board? He's going to have two darts to do it. Oh, he needs the one. Perhaps that's the start of the resurgence of the five times world champion. One hundred and one. Well, we talked about it being a seventieth match between these two. A Taylor win would be his thirtieth on TV against his big rival. But Barney has won the last two in the Premier League. If you remember the World Championship semi-final a few months ago, Taylor winning that. He has dominated Barney 92. over the years. Well, to be quite honest, he's dominated just about everybody yeah. <laughs> over the years. You're going to tell me that you beat him regularly, aren't you? No, nope. don't talk about them years. They've gone. 96. There are lots of people that Phil hasn't beaten, though. Lots of people who don't even play darts. It's about the only people that he hasn't beaten. 134. Uh, Little Richard, our spo spotter. Yeah, Phil hasn't beaten him. 100. How much pressure can Barney put on Taylor? 59. Not Phil an awful lot. 146. Well, the 116 is a real nice checkout. But Phil Taylor's got to miss this first. Well, Barney is going to come back to win his second leg on the trot. Now, he's going to go for the 20s because he likes 45. the double 18. And the four Raymond, you require treble, 16. The 420s will leave that double 18. from the 18s to the top, and he's hit it. Second leg on the trot for Barnabelle, and a break of throw. Perhaps there's life in the big Dutchman after all. 5-0 yep, down, got to cut the legs back. But we know he has immense ability. 91. Tons of talent.
He hit three top plus finishes. 97. To beat Ai, but the Japanese star in the first round. A 146, a 107, and a 104. Well, it's a little bit of a smile on Barney's face, or was that? Well, I'll tell you what, one thing I've noticed as well. Yeah, he's quick in his thrower. He is throwing quicker than he was in the early part of this match. Of that, there's no doubt. His average has gone up. Still only 85, but look at Taylor on 93. 89, 90 as an average. Can Barney get another leg back here? You're right, he has speeded 99. up. Yeah, no question no about doubt, that. No doubt. And he looks a lot more positive. And I'm sure that was a smile on his face earlier on. It might have been wind, but you never know. Ninety-six. Taylor far from his best also. Trouble yeah. eighteen would be a beauty. Yeah. One hundred and thirty eight. That's okay. Five nil. Became 5-1 and 5-2. Is it about to be 5-3? What a comeback this would be if he could turn this around. 130. Revenue upon 52. Well, it was the double 16 route before. The same double 16 route to get back within two. Big dart this for Barnevald. Oh, two on the outside wire. Revenue require 85. Now, Phil Taylor may only get a dart at the bullseye. Some people go 25 here. Taylor goes 19s. Bullseye for Taylor. 16. Revenue by 32. To win three legs on the spin. Double eight now. Massive dart now. 24. Just when we thought he was getting batting back into this game, he throws away five darts at the double. And you kind of feel that this man will punish those five darts. Or will he? 17. The Taylor's missed Revenue 13 eight. darts at double. Van Barneveld has missed 10 darts at double. It's a misathon. Double two now. Yeah. And it's three straight legs nice for leg Barney. Taylor first. averaging 88 and a half, Barney averaging nearly 83. You wouldn't have thought we'd be saying that when this match started a little while ago, but 5 3 it is. 137. Taylor led 5 0. Well, he's given himself an outside chance. Do something in this match now. 60. And he's got to break Taylor on a couple of occasions. And he's going to make the semi finals this evening. And don't forget, coming up shortly after this match, Gary Anderson, 41. the world champion and Premier League champion, will take on the machine, James Wade. And then we'll run into the semi finals. And then the crowning. The first Japan Masters champion. What a success this tournament has been over the last two days here in Yokohama. Real enthusiasm. 57. From the Japanese public who have supported this tournament in big numbers. Well, Barney's just gone and changed 59. his darts back to the ones with the black tip. He started off and played last night with an all-silver set. And this is the set that he played. You know, he, he played with them in the Premier League and made the cut and from there played Whoa. really well. Now, I don't understand why he changed. We're going to get a close-up of these darts now. There they are, the ones with the black ends on the barrel. 95. Ninety-eight. But what I just don't understand that if you're going to go on the stage with one set of darts, why are you taking another set? 
If you've I got that far, negative in you, don't even take that first set. Go up with the one set, and you've got to stay positive with them. But while the other set is there, it isn't going to work. But it's working and for Phil Taylor. Yep. Taylor stops the rock after three body legs. Taylor leads 6 3. And of course, if you're standing there playing Barney, like Phil Taylor is, and you see him change his darts, that, that spurs you on. It gives you the confidence that you know that your opponent is all over the place in the head. They say never show weakness, 59. especially in sport. But Taylor has Well, he's been nowhere near. Taylor's averaging 87, but he leads 6-3. 41. Now, disappointed from both of them, you have to say. I don't think anybody would have expected this. Taylor now. 139. I would suggest to be looking to finish this as soon as possible, get off the stage, and he will get a decent break before a semi final. Well, there's the stats. And from two players that've got 21 World Championship titles between them, let alone the other majors, those stats are very mediocre. Fifties. However, everybody has a bad day at the office, and as we call it, win and ugly is still a win. Yeah, well, Taylor, frustration there as he banged his hands after that last dart, only found the single 19, and Barney rushing to the board after a 140. Taylor 48. is getting more and more frustrated. Now, Bonneville is not out of this. Double eight. 76. He will return. 25 missed darts at doubles between them in this quarter final here in Yokohama. They probably don't. They haven't missed 25 really darts in the whole of the tournament when they become world champions. That's a great, great marker for him. This has been kind before. Six. Phil Rupert, 90. Well, it was a smile, but it was a smile of frustration. And now Phil Taylor to go one leg away. And double 19 will give him that leg. And there it is. Phil Taylor. 7-3 up. He's a leg away from the semi-finals. Well, there may have been a little smile on Van Barnevel's face, but he is hurting inside, make no mistake. He's had his chances against a below-par Philip Taylor, but it's been a well-below-par Raymond Van Barnevel. And that's the honest truth. But Taylor is going to get the job done, isn't he? 100. Phil Taylor won't worry how bad his opponent plays as long as he's walked off the stage the winner. 134. And certainly, you now it's going to be a hard road. Back for this man, Raymond Van Barneveld. 140. You have to say, it under a 90 average, he's made it quite easy for this man to perhaps wrap it up here and there. 100. <laughs> 85, further the ball, 167. 85, not enough. Taylor, six starts from here to win it. Yeah. Will he only need three? Yeah. He needs the ball. Yeah. 140. We held our breath. And Taylor gave it a go, but he will return to wrap it all up. Barney will leave a one dart finish, though. 136 for the card For the match, Philip Taylor. He's double eight. Yeah, Far from his best, but Who's far there? too good for Raymond Van Barneveld. The 70th match between these two big rivals. It's a disappointment, to be honest. But it's Taylor with an average of just 90 who goes through to the semi-finals.
He wins 8-3. Next on the stage in Yokohama, the world champion, Gary Anderson, takes on James Rose.